Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day so far or a good start to your day if you're watching this in the morning. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about, you know, we ain't perfect, right? Nobody's perfect in this world. All right. And the reason why I say that is because, uh, excuse me, you know, yesterday and this weekend I was having like ups and downs and, you know, little moments here and there, all that stuff, you know, basic human things because we ain't perfect. All right. You know, I just kind of broke down a little bit, started crying and everything like that. You know, I had a conversation with my mom. I uh, was talking to her, asking her some questions, and just like just, just breaking down, you know. Just, like I said, just being a human, cause we ain't perfect, right? And you know, just got to thinking, just got to asking, you know, like why, why does this path have to be so hard, or why is it hard, you know? Like how come it hurts? How come it sucks? And why are we taking this high road, or why are we taking this path? Like what's it? Like what's the reasoning? Like if it's so, if it's supposed to be so much better to do then why does it hurt, you know, or why does it, or why does it suck, you know, and, you know, I don't know if you guys ever had those questions, but I, I question everything a lot, <laughs> everything, everything, um, but, you know, we ain't perfect, we all gotta learn from our mistakes, and we all eventually get through them, and I'm, I'm living proof that I've gotten through all kinds of ups and downs in the past, excuse me, especially this weekend, you know, you know, all my life I've been, uh, I've been a, uh, tow boat you know and what i mean by that is by like tow boat purposes they're supposed to help out every boat around them to help them get back into the safety get back to the shore or just reel them in but they're using all their energy all their own energy to do that right so at the end of the day you know the tow boat is burnt out and it got nothing to do for themselves right so like an example is i'm constantly helping and caring for others and trying to do better and be better for others than myself i put everybody else before before myself, before my own actual needs. And it catches up to you, you know. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it's not a bad thing at all, but eventually it catches up to you guys, right? Um, you know, it caught up to me yesterday and I just broke down a little bit, but it's just, it's frustrating sometimes, you know, but you you, you have to you have to discover it for your own, you know. You, like, discover it for yourself was what I'm trying to say. Um, but don't burn all your energy in this world or in the day to constantly help everybody else out except for yourself take, take some time for yourself take some self-reflection some meditation the gym going to dinner I, whatever it is that you need to do to focus on yourself do it you know everyone has a different thing you know i read i go to the gym i you know go shopping sometimes i do a lot of self-reflection journaling all that stuff but I, and now that i've been doing like this youtube thing it I don't really text a lot of people anymore because hey if you really care for me or if you really want to know how i'm doing you'll check out this link and you'll hit me up i'm not going to be sending it to you and constantly telling you motivational things or trying to help you out like i'm just going to focus on myself not me and my kids you know and, and god and my family but you know you don't want to be a towboat all the time you want to be a lighthouse you know you want to shine bright you want others to follow you you want others to find you others to come to to shore you know like the boats they want to find the lighthouse that take them take takes them away from danger but also rules them into safety so they know like hey this is the land stop right here just come to me you know and it's just like how i talked about in the past those five people or that group of friends you hang out with you want positive people influential goal getters uh good goal setting settings uh rich successful people and it's not like rich in like a millions of money you can be rich in all kinds of things but when you're around a group like that, you're going to pick up on those things. Not exactly like that, but eventually you're going to pick up on all those positive vibes, positive energy. But if you're around a lazy person, person who's always complaining, uh, cussing, or eating out, or just a negative person in general, then you're going to end up being like that person too. And it's not good, right? So it's just like a lighthouse. Just If you can shine bright for yourself and work on your self-reflection, other people will notice that. It's going to take some time. But other people will notice that, all right? And then they're going to come find you. They're going to come ask you. They're going to come reach out to you. Hey, man, how'd you do it? Hey, how did you do this? Or how did you do that? Or how's it going? You know, I, you were, I thought you were like at rock bottom months ago or days ago. And now you're like, seems like your life is all, is all in order. You know, I've had that. People reach out to me also, you know, I'm not saying that I'm perfect or um, have my life in order. But I've just gone through a lot of struggles that people can relate to. So I feel like, or they feel like they need to reach out to me, you know. I'm not asking for them to do it, but they're doing it just because of where I'm at today, you know. Um, it's just like that. You guys need to be prioritizing y'all's y'all's day, your goals, and yourself because you can't just focus on everything and focus on everybody except for yourself. You know, that's why I wake up earlier to do things for myself. Because if you think about it, when you guys wake up, right, 
you're getting ready for work and you're making breakfast and then you're at work. But once you get to work, you stop doing things for yourself and you're doing things for everybody, right? You're doing things for your boss. You're going to the meetings. You're taking notes. You're ordering supplies. You're helping patients. It's all for everybody. When is a time that you're supposed to be doing it for yourself? Because some people have a bad habit also of bringing work home with them. You know, don't bring work home with you. When you leave that door at work, close that door and don't ever come back until the next day because the same paperwork that was on your desk last night is going to be there again this mo tomorrow morning, right? So don't let that stress you out. Don't let that ruin your day. That's why I wake up earlier. So I wake up about two, three hours early, two and a half hours early at least. Or at least I try to most of the nights. Two and a half hours, but two hours for sure. Because I dedicate one hour to myself. And I'm not saying that I'm just doing things for me. No, it's going to the gym. It's getting ready for work. It's self-reflecting. It's meditation. It's reading. It's talking to my kids. It's anything but doing stuff for others. You know, I'll, I'll walk Frito. Yes, it's others, but it helps me too because I'm going on a walk and it gets my butt up in the morning. But I take that time to focus on myself, to reevaluate myself, to compose myself, to get my mind ready for the day that it's about to come. You know, we need to prioritize our goals a little bit better and worry about yourself and stop worrying about others because like i don't know about you guys but like for, i know for all my military friends out there remember when you guys go home or if you move away if you live away from home right but you go home and everyone's like man dude where you been i'm always texting you i'm always this i'm always that like you never you're a stranger now and it's like like i've texted you or i've done my part you guys know i'm here so come see me like I'm not going to go out of my way and go see you guys because I came here for leave or for a short time to see my kids, see my family, and I'm out. If you really cared about me, then you you would be the one to reach out. You know, I've had that problem in the past where I put my caring into people in the wrong person or the wrong people because then I ended up getting hurt in the end, right? Now I'm just trying to focus on myself. And yes, I'll still talk to people here and there, but I, th I only, I trimmed the how people say trim the fat or you know like i just trimmed it down i got rid of those toxic people and i don't bother them anymore because you know what they're just not good for me you know i try to keep the positive circle in my life and i've noticed having a positive circle and a positive support system then i'm a better person too but it's also helping people around me you know and it's not just like uh friends and everything but it's family members too you know helping out my my parents helping out my sister my brother my friends uh old supervisors have reached out to me you know it's just they pick up on those vibes and they want to know because, hey, you're doing something right, obviously. So, like, let me like share the knowledge, you know. Don't be stingy with it. Share the knowledge. And it also comes with experience, you know. If I've done it and I've gone through everything that I've gone through, you guys can too. It's not maybe the exact same thing, but, hey, I felt like I was at rock bottom. I felt alone. I felt like that last heartbreak was the worst heartbreak in the world. I felt like I was alone. No one loved me. I felt everything that you guys are probably feeling when you guys are going through your moments also but different journeys, but same feeling, you know, you still feel lonely, empty, not worthy, not worthy, sorry, and everything like that. But nobody's perfect, guys. You know, we have, once you accept that no one's perfect, and then once you accept the things that happened, happened, and you can't change it, then you're going to move on and just be positive and then be that lighthouse. All right. Uh, we got to take, take that high road, you know, just that high road, be the bigger man, be the better person in all aspects in life, not just with like arguments and uh, high school drama or whatever you want to call it, but just take a high road, you know, just go get closer to God, get closer to him, work on your self-love, self-reflection time, um, ask yourself, what, what are you guys struggling with? What are you stuck at the crossroad? How come you can't take that next step or that leap of faith? Like, why are you guys, what are you guys scared of? Is it scared of change? Are you guys scared of getting hurt again? Are you, like, what, you know, what is it? And also ask yourself, do you want to continue to be a towboat or do you want to be a lighthouse? Do you want to waste all your energy on caring for others and not worrying about you or do you want to be a lighthouse? And I'm not saying to completely screw the entire world and never text anybody again. It's not what I mean. It's just readjusting your circle and your priorities and focusing on yourself. Put yourself first in front of everybody. It should be... Depending how, if you're religious or not, it should be God, then you, or you and then your family and then God, you know, depending what your religious be beliefs are. But you get what I meant. Like, you need to be in the front, all right? And then your kids and your family and your wife, your husband, whatever it is that you guys have, right? But you guys got to ask yourselves, you know, don't, do not you want to be this lighthouse? Do you want to shine bright and stand tall, looking tall, looking good? Or do you want to be a towboat and just always burn your energy out for everybody, all right? I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys ever need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, all right? God bless.